Welcome to Talk of the Town, everyone. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. And as you know, we bring you our show each week from the WHHI television studios right here on Hilton Head Island in the Courtyard Building, right next to the Sea Pines entrance. With me now, our first guest is Marcus Walsh. Marcus is the voice of sports yes, for WHHI TV. We just finished football season. Now we're moving into what well, we started last week, basketball season, high school yep. basketball. Welcome, Marcus. Happy 2022. Happy 22, uh, <laughs> 2022, Robin. Thanks for having me. All right, let's talk about the game last week, which was May River Bluffton versus Bluffton Girls and Boys. So right. how did that go? They, they were pretty good games, especially early on. Uh, on the on the girls' side, Bluffton's really good. They're they're one of the girls top and 10. the boys. Well, and particularly the girls, they're okay. they're in the top ten uh, at the moment in South Carolina. Oh wow! They're the second best team in four A Region Seven. Um, they're just so well coached by Lonnie Roberts. They have so many great stars, including Katie Rodney and Takoya Hayward. Uh, both did a tremendous job of leading the way offensively and defensively. It was a 45 to 30 final score, and and Bluffton ended up pulling away late on the May River Bluffton boys side. It was May River that got the job done and got it done in a big way, 54 to 26, and and they continued to spread the ball around, got a lot of inside presence, especially with the boys. I'll mention it every week. You see a, a ton of athletes that play football as well. That's something to look forward to with all of these schools. Mm -hmm. It's going to be interesting to see what we have, hopefully, in our next game. Remember, COVID is still around, and, and our oh, schedule right. is pending of that, um, with uh, Bluff or with uh, Buford hosting May River next week. And so what are we looking for that game? Are there any big stars on the Buford team? Well, I, I think that the Buford guys have a little bit of an advantage um, in terms of what they can do bringing guys back. They. They have a very skilled team top to bottom. The Buford girls are in a little bit of a transitional period. New coach, young team, um, but May River on both sides, very well coached by Jermaine Bigham and certainly by Matt Whitmore. Um, I look for very competitive games and being at the Kirkland Court next week in Buford, it's always a great environment. It's gonna be very cool to see what happens. We'll see Hilton Head and Bluffton later on as well at Hilton Head High. And then we hope to get to Hilton Head Prep again, COVID right. pending with all of this stuff right. uh, throughout the season. So Marcus, can the general public go to these ba high school basketball games if, if you uh, want to? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm not sure exactly of the ticket right. pricings with, with things like that, but we see the students out there and we see Family. parents out there and, and great fans throughout the low country. Just contact the schools for right. more information of how to get tickets, okay. the prices, et cetera, et cetera. Perfect. Now, Kevin Libby is your color commentator yes. for basketball. Right. We had Daniel Court for football. So what's yeah, that? Kevin, how's that relationship going with the two of you? Kevin's great. Um, he's, he's very animated, much like Daniel. Uh, Kevin's a former official. He played basketball mm. as well back in the day. Officials are still needed. Officials.com for uh, <laughs> more information on that. And uh, so Kevin knows a lot about the inner workings of the game, um, obviously working with guys like Jeremy Pope and Joseph Keith and Larry Giacomo to help build the broadcasts, right. make them all work. Um, it's a great crew that we have for, for sports coverage and uh, particularly basketball now uh, here at WHHI. And we're looking forward to seeing a lot more great hardwood action. You know, last night was it was the Georgia um, Alabama game, and I was watching all the pre-show stuff, and I was uh, thinking about homework. How much homework do you have to do as you prepare, whether it's football or basketball, really studying the players and their statistics? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's that. It's getting together with the coaches and athletic directors via email, via phone call. I actually talked to Link Lyles yesterday over the phone. Um, it's it's going to websites and checking in with our friends at Loco Sports. Justin Jarrett, Wes Kurt, check them out. They do tremendous work. They they put out stuff you know daily, right. um, two or three articles a day and videos and all that stuff. Um, it's certainly making sure that everybody is up to date on things. And that includes cancellations and moving the schedules around with COVID and being ready physically, mm -hmm. mentally, all of that kind of stuff. There's there's a lot to it to get ready for a game each week, but. Uh, in our case, two games, 
It's a blast, though. <laughs> well, you do a great job. Thank you very much. Marcus Walsh, the sports voice for WHHI-TV, and we'll be right back. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Robin.